everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with the Purple Bloom kit that is being added to my Etsy shop today, Friday, and um, I just wanted to show you what is actually in it. So this is my tray of goodies. So we have some of the little gold fiber, some purple bling, some eyelets, and a couple of butterfly clips, as well as two of these little purple blings. There's two kits um, that are going into the shop. So then we have purple crochet thread and the thick crochet thread um, for binding. We have some white wire, this little love charm, and a butterfly button, a couple of these little pieces of lace. Um, there's three of these seed packet um, cutouts from my uh, material panel, a large purple button and two medium lavender buttons, a push pin, so if you don't have an awl, you can do your binding with a push pin. Um, this is a binder clip, a purple binder clip. There's some, uh, these are jewelry findings and we'll be making, we make charms with those. Um, let's see, there's a purple, with a purple head pin and a pretty ivory bead there. And there's some, there's the little purple and some sequins. There is another jewelry finding. There's a lot of things in here. There's a purple heart um, bead. Another bulb clip. Thank you, um, Georgia, for sending those. There's um, some silver paper clips. There's some a variety of purple paper clips as well. I'm trying to get those purple. Ah, I can't move my thumb in that direction. Okay, and there's another bulb clip. An ivory and an ivory and this cool gold ball and okay then you get a hitching a hitch post okay there's two of the purple beads that match the heart there's the hitch post fastener a purple plastic flower bead some gold beads um, some purple beads like this, some more buttons. You get a large washer and a small washer, and you see all those beads in there. Each of the kits will have all of that. So be able to make charms, um, a bead dangle for your, um, for your uh, tassel if you want. So those are the little fun metal things that you'll be getting and they'll come in the pretty little purple bag so anyway they'll come in that okay next we have flowers and you'll get all of these lavender flowers and these you'll get some greenery that you can either use as is or cut up you get this variegated purple, and you get two of these hydrangea blossoms as well. Okay, so you get those. You get this piece of, um, I don't even know what it is, stuff. It's, it's not book binding. It's not strong, so don't think that you can use this for book binding, but it is kind of cool. It'll, you know, you can cut it up and put flowers on it. So you're going to get a variety of lace. And um, so I just went over and cut pieces. 
so that you would have a variety of lace to use. And then you're going to get um, these lace pieces. So you get the flower. You get two of the little flowers that Georgia sent me. You get um, two of these. These are from, I think, the lace tablecloth. And you get one of these and one of these. You also get this purple lace. You get some of the amazing wired eyelash trim that Georgia sent me that is awesome. Awesome, awesome. You get this awesome purple wired ribbon um, that is really great. You just cut it at an angle, push it together, twist it, and you oh, you get, I mean, it makes a great back for um, embellishments. Uh, the, the gold fiber. I guess you get two gold fibers. How funny is that? So I'll put that one with that one. So you get two gold fibers. You get this variety fiber. You get some per lavender baker's twine. You get, okay, there's two pieces that look very similar. One of them is your elastic piece that you can use as a closure. And the other piece is not elastic. It is a trim. So, um... So watch for those. You get one of each. You get some purple gingham, some purple pico ribbon. You get a piece of this gold trim stuff. You get a lavender pico ribbon. And you get this piece of lace that you can take and put... Um, a ribbon through so whatever ribbon you decide you want to put through um, you just put it where there's the two holes you can just put whatever one you want and I used mine on the binding okay so if you watch the purple bird journal video you'll see that I used it with this, this right here, this purple, well, not that one, this one, with that purple. So, but there, you can put it with the gingham, if that's what you want to do, or, um, or you can put lavender through it, or you can, however you want to do it. Oh, look at you get another, um, you get a couple more flowers that were in here. So a few more hard hydrangea blossoms. They can go, they go over here. Um, you get a package of Easter egg dye. Um, so that if you want to dye your papers purple, you can. Um, they come out really bright. There is five of the roses. There's another one of the gold pieces. And you also get the teapot and the cup and the teapot. You get some purple eyelash trim. And you get quite a bit of this. Oh, there's two in here. But you get a lot of this one. And then you also get the new one that I just, I just got. So I, I went ahead and put... Look at all the fibers that you get. Okay, and now <clears throat> we are into the papers and the other embellishment making things. So let's go ahead and put this away so that I don't so I don't lose anything here. I have a box over here. It's holding holding everything in the box. Okay, so you get a butterfly. They, they could be different. Um, you get three gold medallions. You get three of these die cuts. They'll be different. You get two cards, two little cards, 
and the envelopes to match. A couple of lavender note cards. You get these butterfly stickers, some pansy stickers, this set of um, like paisley looking stickers, a set of words, inspiration words. You get tickets, this little purple envelope. You do get a mason jar. Um, you might want to take it and outline it and cut a template so that you have one. You get a Rolodex card. You get these three purple tags. That one is, I guess, you know, it looked purple in the drawer. <laughs> but you're going to get it. You get two white tags. You get two of the large tags that I made with my Cricut. You get one bird image because I still have not found the um, the nap the purple napkins. So you're getting floral napkins because this is the bloom the purple bloom kit. So you get this little napkin. You get this larger one that has the bigger flowers at a border. These are gonna look great, um, like on decoupage on the side of your paper, or even at a corner. And just cut out some I think it's gonna be great you get um, this one it has three of this image and three of this image so um, that's kind of cool because you know it's, that's why I had two birds left and I've made three journals with my purple kit my first purple kit you get the lavender and the words so there's three of this image and three of this you get uh, canvas doily and a gold doily you get some of this great purple mesh and this purple tool with the gold um, you get a piece of material that is large enough to cover um, like the cat size book so your piece of material is uh, 18 by um, 10 10 or 11 I can't can't tell because it's folding I'm gonna say 10 but I think it's closer to 11 so 18 by 11 you get one of these and look it's purple on this side I actually made tags out of mine and um, and then there's a place to write on the other side you get two different paint chips and you can see how I use those in the purple kit videos and the purple power hour live videos. You get all of these gold pansy pieces. And to have enough, I, I cut the paper up. So you get these labels. These are awesome. These are from out of my stash and I only had two of each of whatever is here. I had four of those. Um, so you get all that you get um let's see we're in cards here oh well we'll do this so you're going to get um this purple flash card it's blue on one side purple you get this really pretty playing card um and they're vintage and this is vintage also this playing card and you get this amazing card little miniature playing card that I got from Gina. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Georgia and Gina and Valerie. There's things in here from all three of you and possibly from others. Um, an index card, you get a purple index card that's turquoise on the other side, as well as a large one. You'll get uh, another index card. This is a recollections uh, card that comes in a photo box you get these postcards one two three four five six it's seven of those postcards and you can look in the the bird book or the purple ladies or were i a violet purple junk journal that i did and i use those in there these are there's a frame and a cutout on each one of those cd holder this pocket <coughs> and you just score it here and here and put it together and you have a pocket 
Next, we have several envelopes for you. Okay, so we have the large white one, this really pretty one. You get um, three of this lavender one. So you can use this to make a miniature, a mini envelope. You can use it to tuck on the side, all kinds of things to do with envelopes. There's a couple of these purple and that one. So I went through and I gave you some of all my lavender envelopes that I had. Then you get these um, digital printouts. You're going to get six of the um, vintage Edwardian and other ladies from my digital kit. But they are printed in purple. And these are all I have left. That was because my um, computer ran out of yellow ink and it printed them purple. And then you get this one of the uh, a miniature of the purple digital kit and you'll also receive the were I violet purple digital kit um, by email so um, you will receive that you're gonna get there are eight images and post the backs and um, well there's eight images and then there's backs of either three or four postcards and um, so you'll receive that. Then you get this um, cut apart card, some um, Project Life cards from the Rain Collection. because They were purple. I had that purple in my stash. You get a couple more of Project Life cards. You get a purple panel card. You get this amazing stationery card. This is from the Spring Blossom Embroidery Kit, and I printed it out, and you're going to get one of those. You'll get this card, and you'll be able to use that. Then we're into the note papers. Holy mackerel, can you believe this kit? <laughs> a peacock. There was lavender in it. There was a passion flower here that's purple. We have the dragonfly ones and the Eiffel Tower and a couple of these. You get a things to do. You get um, three of these purple lined papers, another lined paper. There's three of the Jamberry, and they are also purple, and that's why I put them in there. You get two of this lined. So these will be able to go on the backs of any of your um, things so that you have journaling space. We have the Say Yes to Adventure that's purple. We have this little, the bird. We have this, and I left it so that you can put it in as a page, or you can cut it apart and have it be like a tag. And then I gave you two of these. These are beautiful. So again, I um, took the book apart so that you would be able to use these in your signature. Now we're in the, the actual, the, the large note papers. So we have this one. This is some vintage wallpaper. And um, then we have this one, and this one. We have the Queen's List from Mary Inglebright. Like it, and it was purple. One of my favorites, we're almost out of those. Um, there are several of these because the pad was almost gone. And I thought they were fun with the, the little heart that look, kind of looks like a strawberry. So there's three of them right there. But you'll be able to use these. You can cut them in half. You can fold them. Um, you know, all kinds of things that you can do with this one. There's that. You get a time card. And, you know, since I had more, you got a couple more. <laughs> Another of the cupcake. Now, um, your your large papers are already folded, and that was so that I could use regular um, a regular envelope. Uh, I didn't want any edges bent or anything, so I I have folded it. Uh, several of the kits that I've purchased from other people, the large papers come folded. So, um, and I was I'm able to save you quite a bit sh quite a bit shipping. So. Um, we have a doily. Again, it's already folded so that it wouldn't get crushed in the, the thing. But most of us, you, that's how we use it. 
It, and of course you can cut it up. We have this note paper that was from Valerie and this was from, um, I think that was from Dollar Tree, a banner that I purchased. This is awesome, these morning glories, and it's one of those cards that you would fold up and put a stamp on. And here is the introduction of my Edith Holden papers. So you get an Edith Holden paper, but you get one that's different. You get this paper that has, you'll, or they're all different too, these out of the my floral book. You get this little, um, this little calendar. And so you have these small pictures here. You have the large pictures through the book. And there's, there's a few that are purple. And then other ones that you'll be able to use in other projects. And then on the back, you also get these little pictures as well. So these are going to make great like paper clips, um, little embellishments. This is the part of the kit, that and the digital kit, where you're going to, and the napkins is where you're gonna get your color in your, um, for in your book. Here we have several pages. Um, this one is just some children's art paper that is, I just, I like that. It's, it's a good consistency. Um, a dictionary page, a stationary, a piece of lined paper. You get two of each of, oh, here's another lined paper that's different. And I like to leave these on. If you want to take them off, that's no problem. You just cut them right off. Um, so you get two of that one and two of that one. And I was clearing out some notebooks and found some notebooks with some purple paper in it. So you got that. Another piece of the that's stationery. Then we have the Precious Moments from Gina. And you get two of each of those making sure we're still filming. Um, you get this one. This was extra in one of the wedding invitation books that I got. Um, you get fill notes. You get this one with the grid paper. Now, this is your address page that um, you get a purple. One, one will have purple flower. And I've already folded it. And what you want to do is you just attach something here this becomes the center of your page you'll see it in my videos I, I do it quite often so there's that one and here's this one they're already folded for you to follow along with with the video um, we have some of the mouse pad coloring paper a ledger paper these are all folded a purple um, it's a, it's kind of a thicker copy paper, uh, organization paper. Here's your grid paper. Now, excuse me. The first thing you want to do is cut out your template. If you're going to be using a template for your book out of your grid paper, if you are coffee dyeing this paper, it just loses all of its lines. So just be warned. <laughs> You get two of these. I really like these. I think those are going to be really fun. And I, those were a gift. I, I'm not sure where they came from. I'm sorry. They might be from Jana because Jana has sent me a lot of amazing. Or from um, Ying Ya also has sent me a lot of amazing papers. So these are already um, folded in the um, special folding that I do um, you get this one I mean there is a lot of paper you get three of the magic sounding papers these ones you'll see I put them in and I'll usually rip them because they're a little bit bigger you'll see this they're a little bit bigger than the eight and a half by eleven so I usually rip them and um, but that's up to you you get another piece of uh, lined paper or graph paper so you can save one aside and keep using it for templates you also get children's note paper a coloring page this is only on one side but you do get a coloring page and a music paper so that is the purple bloom kit available in my Etsy shop today at 10 o'clock I hope you will go check it out 
And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being here. Have an amazing day. Bye. Oh, the bird, the purple bird book is also in my Etsy shop today at 10. Bye-bye.